From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Good morning, I'm Caitlin Nuclo. Here are some of the top stories that we are following for you this morning. We have some breaking news from overnight. One person is dead, another under arrest in Old Saybrook. Investigators worked through the night gathering evidence, trying to piece together what happened here. We do know that a 911 call was made from 11 Turnstone Drive, and then when police arrived there, they found a body in the driveway. Police identified the victim as 53-year-old Michael Sanders from Old Lyme. And the person who called 911 from that house is now under arrest this morning. That person is John Lamb. So far, he has been charged with risk of injury to a minor and drug possession. The risk charge means whatever happened there was potentially in front of minors. Police say more charges could follow. All right, but first we're going to go to an early warning weather alert because we are expecting the potential for some mix and some icy conditions through today, especially in those northern spots. We've got a winter weather advisory uh, for that northwest corner of our state. So this is actually going until tomorrow morning. So that's where we could see the most accumulation. But yeah, just travel could be slippery. So take it slow if you're heading out, especially this afternoon. We could be seeing anywhere from a coating to two inches for some northern counties, southern counties. So we're not too worried. It's going to be mostly rain with warmer temperatures. Temperatures. And then icy mix is possible, especially in some of those northern spots. So once again, it could be slippery in those higher elevations across bridges, some of those trouble spots. Forecast highs today. We're a lot cooler than we've been the past couple of days. So we're in the 30s. And then tonight we're going to be at 30 degrees for our low in the Hartford area. That northern wintry mix could continue. And then by daybreak, I think the system is going to completely push out tomorrow, looking like our pick of the weekend. However, it's going to be cold and windy. So that wind is going to pick up in the afternoon and it's going to feel like it's in the 20s with temperatures actually in the 30s. And then we stay sunny for several days as we head towards next week. Monday, a very sunny day, but temperatures in the 30s. Our warmest day on Tuesday, the start of winter solstice. And then Wednesday and Thursday looking dry but windy. We could see some showers Wednesday night into Thursday. For Christmas Eve, we're tracking cold temperatures, but dry and sunny temperatures as well with lows or with highs in the low 30s. Caitlin? All right, Lauren, thank you. An update now on the ongoing investigation into nooses found at an Amazon warehouse in Windsor. Police say they have identified several people who they believe are involved, but they still haven't been able to make any arrests. The nooses were found at the construction site last spring. The case is still open right now, and police say they will continue to investigate.